Ultima Lucha Quattro. The following Lucha is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied by Rosa, from the Island of the Dolls, Ricky Mundo. At the wedding of Johnny and Taya was destroyed by the monster Matanza. And Ricky revealed that it was he that sabotaged the wedding. Ricky's been pushed around, bullied, and perhaps he has finally snapped. And his opponent from Slamtown, Taya Mundo! The old saying, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned rings true right now because there, Taya Mundo, who had the happiest day of her life, ruined because of the man in the ring, is set to get some revenge. Boy, is she pissed, brother. Bam. Obviously, Johnny loves Taya, we get that, but I feel like Ricky wants Johnny's attention, and with Taya around, Ricky can't get it. This is a jealousy and rage-fueled fight. Don't forget the voices that are coming from the doll. I'm telling you, Matt, the island of the dolls is legit haunted. So you're telling me that you think that the, the doll somehow communicates with Ricky Mundo? I actually think that it could be legit that the doll is communicating. I wonder if when Taya looks at Ricky, she sees the similarities between Ricky and Johnny. I think she sees the similarities of a dude who wants to be Johnny, but he just can't hold the... Ooh. Oh, man. And I hope Johnny's watching. I hope Johnny comes home on time if he goes out with the boys. Her. Taya had her elbow right in Ricky's face. Boy. Yeah. The Ice Queen with a slap to Ricky Mundo. And if we can get a shot of Taya's left hand, she's wearing her wedding ring in this match. If she catches Ricky with a, with a hand, with a punch. Oh. Wow. If she catches Ricky with a left hand, that's going to open Ricky wide open. Oh, well, he's going to have a tattoo, and he's going to have, you know, it's better than getting a parting gift from the wedding party. Mundo taking out all of his frustrations on Taya Mundo. Of course, Ricky legally changed his name to Ricky Mundo. There is no relation. It, it's interesting, you know, Ricky started out so meek, so docile, and so passive. And now there's just an extreme difference here. But when you're bullied and pushed, and if you've got mental problems and you've got a condition, sooner or later you're going to snap, and well, we're seeing the results of that. You know, I wouldn't even know what to think if I was Johnny Mundo sitting in the back or anywhere watching this, watching my, my wife. I think Johnny knows that Taya can handle herself. Johnny Mundo also knows that he has bigger fish to fry. Yeah, but it's his wife, man. I mean, Taya can handle herself. He doesn't have to constantly keep calling home to see if she fed the cats or took out the garbage. No, she can take care of herself. She's an independent woman. Dude, this guy's a mental case, and he's about to do something extremely bad. Yep, but of course, we'll remember that Taya was put through a table at her wedding. That, of course, came at the hands of the monster Matanza Cueto. Oh, boy. Ugh. Heads up here, look at Taya, whoa! And the Midnight Sun stands over us. Ricky was coming with a pen. Taya came with a cross body block instead. Oh! oh. He tried to stab her with a pen, but she's just beating the living shoot. That kick to the back, the dive, the forearm. Yes, she's pissed. Go, go, go! Did I point out she's from Canada, just like me? Opposite sides of the country, you and Taya. Of course, Taya from British Columbia, you from Thunder Bay, Ontario. Nothing wrong with being in Thunder Bay. Watch what you say, Ooh. brother. Now, Taya. Oh! An accomplished wrestler all around the world. Of course, she made her name in Mexico. Cover yeah. here. But she's going to cement her legacy here in the temple. Well, she just poured him like a bucket of cement and spiked his head right on the mat. Sends Taya hard into the corner. Ricky follows in. Taya dips out. Ricky eats the turnbuckle. Taya slips through. We've seen Johnny do something similar here. Sunset flip, roll through. Bates Ricky with the kick. Ankle trip there. And now what does Taya have in mind? Looks like she's oh. going to stack Ricky up. The pressure's everywhere here, Matt. Oh, curb stomping. Jeez. And Taya now. Oh, yeah. With a step over cross face. And this is very similar to what Ricky did to Taya's maid of honor. Perhaps it's a perfect payback. 
We've seen one submission tonight, and yes. we've seen another. And here's your winner, I think it says a lot about the fighters here in the temple on Ultima Lucha Quattro that they're deciding to go for submissions here because there's no arguing there. There's nothing to say, oh, fast count or you got lucky. No, it's a submission, and Ricky Mundo had no choice but to give up. that Taya is done yet here. We talked about a perfect payback. Perhaps some sweet symmetry coming here. The picture tells you everything you need to know. Oh, a boy. trip to the honeymoon suite. Positive like the trash, homie. Yeah, you can check that gift off the registry. Taya has gotten what she wanted. Now Taya grabs Ricky's, perhaps his most prized possession, and waves the doll around by its hair. And we can wave our hands to and fro, because there is still so much more to come. We are not done. Coming up, our main event, Son of Havoc versus Killshot. 